In this video help, we're going to be covering the inventory list screen. It's a list view screen where it shows the records, let's go there, of all the products in the inventory. One of the critical things you need to be aware of in here is that when you do a, or come to this screen, and somebody has done a find prior to actually you coming in here, and they did not use the show all records, that you may get an indication of fewer records than they're actually available in this screen. So what you need to do is when you come in here, just for, make sure that all records are present, just click the show all records. Now, if you were looking for a particular record and there's hundreds of them available, what you would wanna do is go ahead and click on the do find and then perform find. When you click on do find, all the records will empty out and there'll be a question mark in the first record. Use the drop down to pick the particular product you're looking for by the store that you're looking for, or you can look for the store period as far as everything that's supposed to be in inventory in that store, then it will automatically show you the high and low levels. Now, as I stated before, if you are below the low level of the uh, products, then the indicator for the current store values will be in red, blocked out in red, so you can see that. Here is the standard price the quantity on hand, the sum sold, and the sum received, and then the primary product code for your store for that item. So let's go ahead and do a find just to see how this works. Find. I'm going to pick the first record item. Now I could put, pick the store as well or just pick a product and the store to see all the items and inventory levels for that item for that store. Then I go ahead and pick do the uh, perform find and then that item shows. Now, obviously, if you came to the screen, there was only one item showing, you'd know that you need to click on the show all records indicator here. And that would bring in the uh, information for all records again. Let's go ahead and do that. You can see it's very quick to bring back in the information. As with other things, if you change anything in this screen, you would commit the record or revert back and in most cases, you will not be doing any editing in this screen. There would be no reason for that. But I do give you that ability to go ahead and do it on every screen. So in case you have to commit something, you can. There is also a way to go directly to the purchase screen. If this is something you need to purchase, you can click on this to go directly to purchase or return to the inventory screen for that particular line item. And as you can see in here, the red background indicates that this is a low level. Now, in this particular case, this is because the high and low levels were never entered. So you do need to put in high and low levels. If I wanted this to go ahead and go away, I could put in the one and the high level. It's, since this has never received anything and it's still at zero, I would have had to have purchased something in order to get that to take that red background out of there. But there's none on hand, so that always is going to be red. If I put in zero in here, it's still going to show you the indication of red. So you need to have at least one value. And also, if you had no inventory left, it would. when you're looking at the uh, list view that we just uh, showed you, if you have a low level and a high level of zero, that indicates that you're not going to be buying that item anyhow. So this would always be red. Okay, if you have any questions as usual, go ahead and get in contact with me by email. Thank you.